Hey guys, welcome back to episode 2 of Furcraft. So, as you can see here, we've got a small little camp out, because my base my base will actually be underground in the uh, new caves, which means I have to wait till 1.18 releases in about 11 days. So yeah, I'm mega hyped for that. And so far it's just me on the server, so now if the online friends or school friends have joined. But two of my school friends are extremely hyped about joining. Like, I mean, so see. Does it know the message? Oh great, okay, a creeper. And don't even think about putting creeper or man in the comments. See, I figured I would get this done, my, get my video done while my mum is away. Let's see, where are those torches? I know I have some torches around. We got glowstone. No. That's why I had some torches. I oh, guess I'll have to make some more. Or, or we could make some. We could make some more torches. <laughs> like my sense of humor, people. Because if you don't, deal with it. Well, let's actually get a shield crafted. That way we can deflect hostile mobs and stuff. Apparently, spectral hours do not work with an infinity bow. Oh yeah, we also got that sorted. So I'm thinking for our shopping district, we locate, try and locate a mushroom island, because that's where the thing will be. The shopping district will be, because why do you think about that? Hostile mobs won't spawn there, so we don't have to put up with them. So, I think it's a great idea that we'll be setting up base. We'll be setting up the shopping district in a biome where hostile mobs don't spawn. Aircon, tell me what you guys think of it, because I think it's a pretty neat idea. Means we don't have to put up with mob hostile mobs. And I've already got a blaze spawner found with a nether fortress. And let's see what else. So, not very much has been going on since the last episode. Just got a whole ton of new stuff. Most of my school friends will be shocked at how quickly I'm doing this sort of thing. I mean, seriously, I've been a busy bee. I just love the deep slate sound. As much as I hate mining this crap, I just love the sound it makes. So yeah, so far we have a diamond pickaxe, so that's three. Two for the enchanting table, so so far we've got Seven diamonds to our name, or well, just two plain diamonds to our name, because we've used five of them. Not five, yeah, five of them. And we will eventually start building some stuff so we're not just like out in the open. 
And just before I continue, I will show you the achievements I've got. So I haven't really got much in here. I've just got kill any hostile mob, shoot something with an arrow, sweet dreams, discover every biome is a work in progress, return to sender. Because I, I sent, I got a guest. Don't know what's going on with that one, considering I have been picking bartering. This got Crimson Forest and Basalt Delta for that one. And then with this one, we're pretty much nearly done. We just got to flat a projectile, cover ourselves in diamond, follow an eye of Ender, weaken and cure a zombie villager, and then we've reached the end. And that's all of those attempt advancements done. So, I think I'm doing a question of the day, so in the comments below, tell me what your favourite mob is and why. We'll probably be doing these question of the days now, just for fun and stuff, because I might make my channel more interesting. I can hear some lava. I've over sign I've all the torch was dot the lava. Eh, there's ours on. Yeah, probably two of the school girls that I'm friends with will join once school's finished. We're mainly just using an iron pit because I, I got killed by some blazers. I don't say I was just being ambushed left, right, center. Mine up one.
Hey, I'm back. Just had to go fetch my dinner. Hmm, let's go this way. So if I'm not talking guys, I'm just trying to focus. I think I might have to do something wrong with Deep Slate. In the comments below guys, tell me what should the town hall be made out of? It's like what materials? Like give me a block pallet. Experiment with some block pallets in a world in a creative world on Minecraft and tell me what blocks should be used for the town hall Dave sounds Don't really need any copper, I just want some diamonds. Honestly, I wonder how much deep slate we'll have by the end of all this mining. Because one thing I'll have to do at some point is get some villagers. So I just make a small little house and stuff. Where I can have some villagers in it. Especially librarians, because they give me my books. Well, maybe the ones that give you weapons will also be good. So yeah, one of the shops I will be making will be to do the fist stuff. Amethyst. Once we get a silk touch pick, we can actually get like all these ones. If you wonder what this stuff is, it's smooth basalt. And this calcite. Those two blots don't really do nothing good in Minecraft. Comments below, tell me, should I make a shop that also sells mob heads? 
Because I'd like to know your guys' opinions on what shops I to make. Now, if you're wondering why this pickaxe hasn't broken so easily, it's because I have them breaking on it, but only the first one. And yes, I am aware that the more caves we dig our way into, the more that won't generate Also get a dripstone farm. I'm quite keen to see what people have for base ideas. Because what we'll do is once 1.19 is ready, is we'll update the server to that version. And we'll even see if we can get the, a world download, like the hermits do, so that my followers, subscribers, can play So I need to stay in this area. I'll probably see if Andre can get um, what's it called. Now there's a data pack that I use in my own survival worlds, where it has location. I mean, not location. Uh, coordinates. Oh yeah, it's coordinates hard or something or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.